Yo, 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 this is the Craig Lee Lawrence Experience. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. Hope you're having a fantastic morning of a Saturday. If you're sipping some coffee, if you're having, you know, your morning routine, ritual routine of whatever that may be, I hope you're enjoying yourself this Saturday. But for this record review, I wanted to discuss an album that is very dear to my heart. With all the bullshit going on right now, we need to be like this album. We need to have this mindset, you know what I mean? We need to have this colorful mentality that these brothers had to make this record. Now, I'm not really much into rap as, you know, as much as the average black man, uh, but I do listen to it. I enjoy rap. I enjoy hip hop here and there. But for the most part, it's not my go to. Personally, you know, I'd rather just rock the fuck out in my own opinion, because, you know, I like I like rock music. So anytime there's collaborations and stuff with people, I'm always like intrigued because it doesn't matter who they are. It's art and art. But of course, if they're two rap artists. I'm really not going to, I'm not going to pay attention per se, but the thing about this band and why I say we need to be like this band is because it's two completely different fools from groups that I would never have thought would have been together. And you know, it's just like, what the fuck? (laughs) So you got RZA, you know, my boy RZA from Wu-Tang Clan, Wu-Tang, you know, and that's cool. And then you have Paul Banks from Interpol, which is like random as fuck, but apparently these fools are friends, and they've been friends for like a long time, you know, like years, and RZA wanted to like, you know, put up, put put some new music out or whatnot, this was back in 2016, he wanted to put some music out and whatnot, and Paul Banks, uh, that was one of the first thoughts he had, he was like, he wanted to kind of make a, a, you know, a hip-hop kind of rock style album, and he was like, you know what, Paul could, Paul could probably help me out with this, which is awesome because Paul Banks you know I'm not I'm an Interpol fan there are definitely a handful of songs that I really like from them and I understand the criticism people give to the band but you know they're still pretty cool and especially now you know I think they're just a three-piece now so they're going pretty well for only having three members in the band like you know they're they're they're, I mean you know more power to them their last album Marauder was like "Eh, it was all right it wasn't really a favorite of mine but it was good Wu-Tang I mean I know a lot of Wu-Tang I don't know a lot of Wu-Tang songs but I do I would know him if I heard him. I'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, like I could get, I would just get down because it's Wu-Tang, you know, but like, it's just not my initial favorite genre of music. So anyway, they came together, Paul Banks and RZA, and they formed Banks and Steels. And I get, I'm, 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 I'm I'm guessing Steels is like a nickname or, you know, uh, just name for RZA. And then Banks is, of course, Paul Banks. And, you know, Paul Banks does have a solo album I'll probably end up doing, I guess, as a record review in some time, because he, like, you just look it up, it's a, it's awesome, it, it's kind of, it's kinda, it goes up and down, but for the most part, he is a very, you know, outside of Interpol, Paul Banks is actually a pretty cool musician, or just, you know, artist in general, but when you put him in Interpol, of course you're gonna base it off of Interpol, you're not just basing it off of him, so this album and his solo album are two very cool bodies of work that really show what he can do, you know, outside of his quote-unquote comfort zone that is Interpol. But anyway, so yeah, Banks and Steels came out back in 2016. The album is called Anything But Words. Because sometimes you don't need words. (laughs) Um, But still, like, RZA's raps are awesome. Like, his, you know, he spits mad game. Um... You know, they have Ghostface Killer in here, which is pretty sick. Uh, he features on a song. They have Florence Welch on a song. I mean, I love Florence. Florence is one of my favorite, you know, her and Shirley Manson. I mean, I did my, my garbage review for, uh, you know, their new album. And uh, pretty much her and Shirley Manson are two of my favorite, you know, women in, in rock. And that's what, again why I say you can't say that there's no women in, like, the rock scene because it's just, it may not be, like, punk rock or, like, rock rock of like 80s, you know, like it's not like Nirvana, but there are bands out there and I'm going to get to them, believe me. Um, But yeah, it's, you know, it's a a great album. So, oh, Method Man is on it. I mean, like, oh my gosh, I was a big fan of Method Man, you know, Meth and Red, you know, so I mean, those guys are always, again, I, I don't listen to rap today like i'm not into like the mumble rap and stuff you know no offense to those guys but it's just you know i list i do listen to the old school rap when i do but it's just not often so you know but um 
Yeah, so Banks and Steals, Anything But Words. Uh, we got 12 tracks. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, it, it was a solid body of work. And, and the other reason I, I was ready to do this uh, was because I had saw that they were actually coming back with a new record. And I was like, holy shit, like the first album was great. So I can only imagine what the second album is going to be like. You know, I'm, I'm fucking ready. And then, and, you know, when you look, if you read it up and, and look up on the, you know, what's going on with the new album and everything, Riz is like, yeah, it was a quarantine thing, which is what everyone's going through right now. Like, you know, they're in quarantine, start making music. You're in quarantine, hit them up, start making music. Like, that's what all these artists are doing because, of course, they couldn't tour or anything. So, you know, we're going to have a lot of great albums coming out or hopefully good albums coming out. But hopefully they're just not, you know, COVID-related and, like, po politically related. You know, I hope that it's not, like, just shit like that. Like, because I don't... We don't need a political albums. I mean, like, my first review, you know, Danny Elfman, I mean, it was just kind of, you know. But anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get into this. Um, Banks and Steals. Anything But Words, released in 2016. Awesome. So this first track, um, we're, uh, we're going to take on track number one, Giants. You know, like, Giants. Better watch up and off the building, I'm cutting rest. Oh, got the heat off the show. Face up the mama, the I'm going to take full control. Hey, Paul, let him know. I'll stop the fucking dope i remember when i had this was the first single right so i remember when i had first saw the music video for this on youtube like i was just scrolling through and this came up and i was like what like banks and steals this looks like paul banks and this looks like rizza no way and then like you know we have the interpretive dance and everything in it but like just the raps and just paul banks singing i was like what bruh where's Where's the hate? Where's all this white people are evil and all the black people should hate the white people? Where are all these people at? Because this looks like love. This looks like awesomeness. Excuse my accent. But I, and then his raps, oh my god. Yeah, I got fuck CNN, this is get a get an auditorio. See see me like milk and Oreos, drop inside the audio, platinum plaques in my portfolio. You know, like they just discuss how they're pretty much he's rapping about like how bitch how bitching he is and that he's gonna like bring this album out and it's gonna fucking drop you slap you silly and then you have paul banks coming out you know i'll stop at nothing i will play this game that's not so easily started because you know it took him a while to get here not so easily parted because you you know you won't want to leave it but they're giants in their own way in their separate way musically everything is shaking through the walls because we are and they're like you know pretty much blowing up now with this record because they're gonna be like check this shit out I mean, we were really in a bad time in 2016, from what I can remember, you know. So it's just, to to have this come out of nowhere was very much like, like, where, where did that come from? <laughs> you know? Um, and then I love the, the bridge. I mean, the music is so, I love the music too, because it's so straightforward. It's nothing like crazy, all the little accents. Boom, boom, giants with Paul Banks. And I like how in the beginning it kind of sounds like a, it's like a video, if, in the beginning of the song, it sounds like a video game power-up. Like, like, you got, like, a power-up, because they're, like, you know, upgrading, almost, in a sense, you know? And at the end, it kind of trades off, too. Like, you know, the little keyboard bit trails off the song. So it's pretty, it's pretty sick. Like, it is a very, it was a very, like, straight-up, like, hip-hop rock song. Like, out of nowhere. <laughs> I was like, Whoa, this is cool, you know, like I couldn't wait to show people the 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 last the the bridge, one of my favorite parts. Nervous ordo seclorum, e pluribus urum, they changing climates and replacing humans and fract fracting soils while bulldozing forests, but they can't defeat us. They cannot destroy us. And then freaking Paul Benson is like crazy, high pitched weird interpol voice are we dreaming the same dream of money guns and gasoline <laughs> oh excuse me oh i felt i, I it's just so funny <laughs> yeah so first track First track, Giants, awesome, awesome song, awesome, like, you know, just start to an album of two dudes that you just did not expect, and like I said, to know both already, it's like, holy shit, who would have thought that they were friends, one, and two, that they would be 
that he that Rizzo would have reached out to Paul, not the other way around, you know. Uh, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, you would think that Interpol would be like, oh, we want to do a song and have members of Wu-Tang Clan rap. Nah, it was totally like Rizzo was like, yo, I want to make an album. And which one of my niggas got called? My nigga Banks. Paul Banks. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's continue on. Track number two. Uh, Anna Electronic. You go up to release, you release, you go down, and it's hard to see your face now. Look beneath your celestial sound when the shadows keep your pace now. Even, even the time flows. So, an electronic in itself is its own beast. Like, it is a fantastic follow up. One, two, holy shit, the intro keyboard is just lit. Three, Paul Banks raps, which is hilarious. Four, I mean, it's pretty much about a woman. Like, it's it's just about, like, going through the motions of loving someone and then possibly, you know, losing that person and having time just being what fills that void. You know, it's like even even when time flows away, you, you know, you, it'll, time will still flow over you because it's still... You're only gonna keep moving forward. You you can move. You can look back and kind of want to retract steps, but you will never actually move backwards. You know. But I love how he raps in this song and the whole first verse. You know, um, you uh, you go up to release, you release, you go down, and at times I can see your face now. Up in the air, celestial sound when the shadows keep your face now. Even even the time flows over now. <laughs> oh. My boy, Paul Banks, man, just spitting them bars. And then, of course, you know, RZA just raps his normal game. And, like, I mean, it's just, it's awesome, you know? Like, RZA's, RZA's G. And, um, you know, I mean, of his of his rap lines, I mean, I don't really have, like, any favorite bars per se. Like, you know, I know people, like, I, like I said, I don't listen to rap, so I don't really, like, remember as much. But I do like when he says, um, you know, for the second verse, um, and, and, you know, he will travel far lands and cross the deepest sea, send his soldiers to war like Trojans and Greeks. You know, many kings. Kings lost the land at the woman's hand. Mary Antoinette caused the fall of France. You know, like, it's like, you know, he, he's discussing how, like, men have always traversed for women and, like, always gone through great lengths to, like, please and be there for their fellow ladies. You know, so it's just crazy that, like, all, all these women are freaking out over us today because we want nothing more than to love y'all. And I guess none of y'all want to just, they y'all just want to be loved too. And then you're being loved by other women who are then becoming better men but are still technically man i don't know it's a lot but this song is like a perfect example of like just or, or it's, a, it's a really good song to listen to just about love you know like if you just i don't know if you and, and plus the way he sings it paul bank sings it and like the sultriness and like the the interesting effect that they use on his voice and just it just totally works it's a totally legit chorus rap verse song you know like it's 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 very soft and the fact that he does that little rap in the beginning for the verse i don't know it totally works you know like i think it works um, but yeah, this this is my favorite song. Um, I, I, I have a, another more favorite song, but this is like straight up favorite song in the album because um, it, it's just them two. It's like, holy shit, this is what these two are capable of. Like, yeah, they made a whole album and they, they did songs with other people. But this is, the, again, just them two, like other songs. But if this is what they are capable of in general, holy shit, please give me more. I need more shit like this. Um, but yeah, so Anna Electronic, favorite, favorite. Um, all right, so track number three, Sword in the Stone, featuring my nigga Cool Keith. <laughs> Holy God, if necessary, polo weather, never shove it, top to bitches, I'll be bagging, undefeated, quite conceited, many times I'll catch me bragging, can't a motherfuckers walking with our pants sagging, planted in his brand, y'all upon my bandwagon, fire breed a dragon, this said put your fucking hands in the air, okay, again, th this song is also fucking lit, right, so Cool Keith, you have Cool Keith in here, the rap, awesome like this song just like, i love the intro because it kind of like brings you in you know it's like really like oh what is the sword and the stone all right what is it going and then it just takes off like the bass the bass and paul banks plays the bass right like, he plays guitar and bass especially now for the band in in interpol he's also mostly the bass player so he knows how to play the bass so the bass in this song bravo paul you know do 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 you know, they I, like, and then just, but da da but da da but da 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 but da. Oh my God, it's so good. But I love that first. The first verse is again why I wanted to do this fucking album 
in this time that we're all saying that white supremacy exists and we're all being put down and we niggas need help is no 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 the first verse nigga <laughs> gangsta still supremacy take it to extremities always got our remedy microphone is fucking the I, 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 it, it has a question mark but i think he cusses or something says something gangster and uh, rapper skills legendary busting nut on these sl sluts because it's causes necessary polo wearing never sharing pots with bitches i be bragging undefeated quite conceited <laughs> many times y'all catch me bragging but can a motherfucker walk with our pants sagging yes we can bitches <laughs> Sir cruising in a Lamborghini, sipping on my dry martini. Real, real niggas slow when they thought they saw a Lamborghini. Like it's, it's so legit. Uh, um, you, you germ. I don't give a fuck what you earn. This is hip hop, nigga. Like it's just, like, but it's with Paul Banks, you know. Like it's just so funny. It's just like you know when you look at things just through a different perspective on just like we're all here and we're just trying to get by. This is what is really going down in the world you know people be like collaborating and doing things and actually wanting to share great things with the world not everybody is a fucking piece of shit hating racist <laughs> yeah those do exist but you know that's definitely not everybody you know we're better than that we are better than that some people are just fucking assholes and we gotta just just not give them the time of day you know what i mean um and then of course of course cool keith you know, my nigga Cool Keith be rapping. I mean, oh my gosh, you know, I got the puzzle cube like a Rubik's. Then after way you get retired, hot and records, you've inspired Banks and Steels, Banks and Steels. Then after way you've retired, hot records, you've you've inspired. Like, bro, they're going to fucking... <laughs> hip-hop music, I love it with passion. Ain't nothing like hip-hop music, you know? That's what they love, and that's what they're bringing to the table. Like, it's like, you know, I may not dig it, but it is here to stay. So, you know... Anyway, <laughs> track number four, uh, Speedway Sonora. Woo! Bob the Hussman, Sip Tiger Bowl. <laughs> Bob the Hussman, Sip Tiger Bowl. <laughs> Speedway Sonora, another favorite song of mine. Uh, this is just a great song in general. And I love the chorus. The cho Speedway Sonora, it's just somewhere to fly. It's just a sky like... Like, I don't know, I like... Like, you know, Paul Banks has a cool voice. And I mean, I could understand some people not digging this, especially because the rap goes so hard. <laughs> but, like, RZA just, like, blows this song out. And then when Paul Banks comes in, you're just kind of like, whoa. Yeah, that's a different dude. <laughs> if you heard this on the radio, you know, unless you really like Interpol, you would probably, ch you would be like, hmm, you know, you might change it at this part just because. But I like it because of that aspect of like, it's just so odd, you know, it's very weird. But I feel like it's about them both in their own right, paving the way and like, you know, going through their life and trying to get, you know, uh, just trying to get on the good side of life now. Like, you know, they're both older. I mean, you know, Riz has probably been through some shit. And he, and I feel like throughout this album, he, like, talks about some shit and, like, discusses life, you know, in a sense. And that's what rap pretty much is, right? Like, rap music is, like, spoken word almost where you're, like, discussing your life or, you know, discussing shit y'all niggas been just getting into, dog. <laughs> you know? And uh, it's great. Like, that's, that's why rap is also so, like, why people enjoy the genre is because how real it is which un which is very understandable you know like i mean i love david bowie you know and that fool he went through a lot <laughs> he was, thought he was an alien you know but again we'll get into martians very soon you know um and uh i mean elon's already like on his way out there so fuck maybe he is one maybe elon musk was a martian this whole time shit you didn't hear from me um, but yeah, one of my, like, I like how he raps at the beginning, you know, I, I shot the wolf with a silver bullet, he didn't think that I would pull it, tried to block the path that I was headed, I'm trying to get back on my good foot, you're scratching the back of the good book, you know, shit, little niggas, that's a good look, <laughs> black hooded 40 acres on land, developed 40 acres wooded, <laughs> you know, so like, it's, you know, they're putting wrongs, the rights that they've done, and like, you know, killing that wolf inside of them, or like, you know, trying to get rid of that big bad, you know, that they, ha that they were, that they had, I mean, yeah, you know, that, that's, this is all speculation, this is my opinion on what the songs are about, it's probably not, it's probably about them literally like bulldozing forests and like you know killing wolves but <laughs> you know again i when i heard this song in particular i was very taken back i was like again like an electronic 
I guess this song 50-50 could go or, or like 70-30, 70, 70 uh, and electronic and electronic 30 Speedway Sonora um, would be, you know, uh, a, a song where, wow, these guys really do work well together. And again, in 2020, y'all saying that all, all white people are evil. It's like, yo, you know, Paul Banks and RZA did an album together. I mean, shit. Did you know that Nickelback lead singer Chad Kroger and Timberland, Timberland, Tim, my nigga Timberland have a song together about drinking and popping bottles? I mean, that's hilarious as shit. You know, like not all white people are crazy. Uh, not all white people are racist and evil, but some white people would just be crazy. <laughs> and it's a good thing. Um, but yeah, Speedway Sonora, it's fucking, fucking awesome song. But so track number five is my favorite song. So favorite song would be, you know, Wild Season, track number five, featuring the beautiful, the gorgeous, the exquisite oh, Florence Welch. I love you, Florence. You're the best. <laughs> The Drake old English is the broken English The Kiki that's Venus has genius in love with my penis Every evening she was living and seething Until I seen her, yeah, been up for more Oh, I don't care, see the heart It definitely has been a wild season for us. It's been a wild couple seasons. Um, and, you know, this song is beautiful. When I first heard this song, I was so... Like, that was, I think, the first song I listened to. Like, when I when I heard, when I saw, like, the track listing, I was like, I gotta fucking hear that song. Like, I heard Giants first. And maybe I heard An Electronic first because I, you know, I, I like listening to the albums, sh you know, straight to fin start to finish. So I probably went to An Electronic, was like, holy shit, this song is great. And then I just immediately went to this track, to track five to this song because I was like, I got to hear Florence sing because I love Florence and the Machine. And holy shit, this song is just so good. I love everyone's parts how it starts with Paul, you know, and then it ends with like all of them pretty much singing together and then RZA just rapping at, you know, rapping through it. Like, and then Flor you hear Florence rap, like, and it's not even a rap. It's just her singing, but in the, in like a rapping tone and like melody. It's, it's so beautiful. Like, holy shit. And uh, again, this song just like uh, breaks down RZA's either life or just his own perspectives and just, uh, you know, uh, you know, thought, thoughts of other people of his, you know, friends, experiences or just experiences he's seen or gone through himself discussing how, you know, he was just a different person going through different, you know, different times, different life, he, you know, living a hard, a harder life, you know, being younger, thriving for greatness and uh, achieving that, you know, and just letting it get to his head or whatever, you know, just like, and taking advantage of things. And, and now, realizing that like you know he just wants to live clean or you know just live a better life and just ha you know make amends and just you know be on the, that good path and, and strive for even more greatness you know and like it's just beautiful you know and the fact that they had Florence sing on this like I don't know whose idea this was I haven't looked it up but whoever it was thank you because this was just awesome this was fantastic this again just shows what these niggas are capable of. I mean, like, oh my gosh. And like, you know, I stay alone, skip the stone from the known to the unknown, feeding fires, spinning tires, getting even. And for a while I made you smile, saw the voodoo in you, child. Girl, I know you are the reason it's been a wild season. It, you know, it's, it's from what I can see, it's just about him, like him being with this woman and they went through it all. And it changed him because he had to just get out. You know, some relationships, they're toxic. Some relationships, they just don't work and they fall apart. And you got to you gotta get out of that before you end up being put out of that. You know, and then you have to fucking survive and deal with bullshit. You know, like it, it happens to the best of us and it happens to the, to the very worst of us because we bring people and we drag people into shit like that, you know, and it, it is what it is. And like, I love his, his verse, you know, I used to drink old English and speak broken English. The kid, the Kiki, like the Kiki, this Venus said she is in love with my penis. Everything she said was leaving to see us until I see them. Yeah. Men are from Mars and girls are from Venus. Life's no game. I used to drink until my ba my brain blanked insane, insane for Kane talking faster than a man. Think I spent millions on friends who didn't love me. My, my, the image of, 
my mirror of life appeared ugly. Like, uh, I just love, I fucking love this song. It's just, it's just so good. And then Florence, um, her, her little bit, um, uh, don't, yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, is it just love? I'm not enough. Just one sip and I can't stop. I'm too far out, too far out of reach. Fell below, you call to me. Don't get too close. I'm flying high. I feel too beautiful to die. Like, you know, some people just don't want to accept the realization that it's just not going to work, you know, but it's, you go through so much that it's like, afterwards you're like man i know the reason i i know the reasons not to break your heart but it's been a wild seasons and i know i'll stray too far but it's still it's been a wild season but this has made me realize man and hearing florence wilts just sing that out oh bravo florence like i mean she's got a great voice and to hear them all singing at the end they all harmonize amazingly well like you know and then how uh how he says you know i still got that wolf in me you know we're still on the prowl it's like shit man it's seasons come and go. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Crazy. Um, but yeah, it is, it is pretty wild, but you know, Florence and the Machine, man. I love Florence. Um, so yeah, this was definitely hands down favorite song. Thank you guys. For thank you. Um, track number seven, Conceal. So, uh, unfortunately, because I do Craig shit, I done forgot the title track of this album. I done forgot the title track. Anything but words. And the trust us on Bora Bora, we discuss the Torah. Then we travel across these lands like old explorers. And that song I was I should have done right now, but I did conceal, so I'm gonna do this one real quick. Um, but this song is pretty much another triumphant song about just overcoming, you know, your your faults or your your vices and shit. Um, I love the lyrics, you know. Uh, um, I believe someone can be brave in this on this green earth, but maybe I'm wrong. You know, reach for the sun out in the pouring rain, and. Um, of course, RZA's rap is awesome, you know, that he doesn't use guns. His truth is his, is his cavalry. It's like, shit, man. Like, you know, he, I, I can't believe I forgot this, uh, this song. So I just wanted to add in this little bit before I, before we go back to the just regular review. But I can't believe I done forgot it. Shit's ridiculous. And now we're sitting here and I'm like watching it. And I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. I have to re-edit this last bit in here. Son of a bitch. Anything but words. I guess I just didn't have to say anything. I could have just been like, song. End. <laughs> well, that, I wouldn't be using those words. I, I wouldn't say those words, obviously. I would just look, the song would play, look, and then continue on to the next <laughs> one. But I had to give my reasoning, so here you go. Anything but words, great song. Now we're going to go on to the next track, which was the track Conceal. <laughs> another one of those songs that's just fucking good it's 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 an interesting song to listen to like just to know that like whoa these fools are just making records together like it's just so funny you know this one and what was the track three sword in the stone again i know that paul banks plays bass so if paul banks is the bass player on all these songs damn like it's just so sick and doom doom so good and then he does the little mm, yeah <laughs> i'll take you there i'll make the most of it <laughs> so good so good um yeah this song is just great i don't really have much to say about it um you know it's not much to conceal that these guys are like fucking dope <laughs> like had this whole album dope uh they don't gotta really conceal anything um but yeah you know and and they're all like again the, the uh it's just it's just solid it's just, just solid. <laughs> um yeah uh, track number eight, Love and War, featuring Ghostface Killer. Then we get back together that's decent, but last week you keep my bends and that's recent. She's bitching, I'm bitching. She's switching, I'm switching. She's talking, I'm not listening. I'm about her in the kitchen. If all is fair in love and war. Go home and cry to your mama. 
And while you at it, tell her I'm hungry. So Love and War was definitely one of the only songs that I didn't really like because I just didn't like Paul Banks' part of singing. Uh, like, hell is fair in love and war. It's just, it kind of reminded me of, like, She Wants Revenge. Like, She Wants Revenge could have done it better, I think. You know, like, this seems like it could have been, like, RZA and uh, Ghostface Killer performing this with, um, you know, with whoever I said. <laughs> ah, damn it. So yeah, Love and War, I, I guess, was like the second actual single off the album. And it wasn't really a favorite because I just didn't like the way that Paul Banks sang his part. And it's no nothing against Paul. It's just his voice is like, you know, it's like, hmm, sometimes. So for this song, it was like, hmm. But everything else is pretty good. But I mean, I don't really listen to rap as much, like I say. So it's like, ah. And the video is pretty sick. Yeah, the video has, you know, some Tarantino-esque. It's almost like a like a Yakuza torture scene is very, very gnarly. And like, I love how like uh, Rizzo, I mean, um, Paul Banks doesn't actually like speak in it. It's pretty funny. But um, the bass is pretty sick. Again, like, you know, knowing that Paul Banks plays the bass, again, it, it's awesome. You know, ba doo doo ba doo doo ba doo 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 ba doo doo ba doo doo ba doo 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 It's just like, <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and, got, go, yeah, Ghostface Killer. I mean, I don't really listen to him that much, but, like, you know, he's the homie as well. Uh, and, you know, I mean, I, it's fucking dope. Like, again, you can't say that niggas can't do shit because we making albums like this. Like, this is just awesome. You know, at the end of the day, it's still awesome. Not a favorite of mine, but still awesome. You know, and um, yeah, all is fair in love and war, man. Like, you know, what do you, and, but what are you keeping score for? Like, I love the, I do like what he says. I just don't like how he sings it. But, you know, it is true. All is fair in love and war. So with everything that's been going on, all the war, we got to start bringing the love in soon. And I'm not talking about the love about like trying to get your kids to come to the, the other side of the, the gay sphere. But, you know, like, you know, you know, just normal love of just, you know, accepting everybody and not pushing shit on anybody and just kind of letting us go back to how things were, I guess, you know, and, and, and if you're going to change who you are in your body, that's fine, but don't expect everyone to just jump on the bandwagon, you know? Um, but yeah, again, this song is, is cool. I just, I, I don't know. Paul Banks singing part, only, only gripe I have, nothing against you, Paul, just, you know, <laughs> all is fair in love and war. It's just like, mm, she wants revenge, she could have done it better. If she wants revenge, I'd done a song like came out with like some random like oh shit she wants revenge featuring Rizzo and Ghostface. I would have I would have totally bought that. All is fair in love and war, you know like some she wants revenge track. I'd have been I'd have been down for that for Paul Banks. Eh, sorry, um, but yeah. So let's go ahead and move on. Uh, that was love and war. Um, sorry, let me get back over here. Um, track number nine can't hardly feel. Once in your life, then what you like. Uh, so I can, uh, so can, can't hardly feel, uh, apparently is what uh, most people's song that they like the most. Um, which I guess I can understand because most songs about love and loss and drugs all in the same song usually go pretty well hand in hand together. Um, uh, so, you know, that it, it only made sense that this song would, would, would hit, hit hard. Um, but I do love the way that Paul Banks sings his parts. You know, I can hardly feel your love. You know, like, because it's like, you know, you're so numb that you just, you know, you want, you want, you want her, but maybe you just fucked everything up. <laughs> you know, and now you can hardly feel it. You know, it's, it's got its, oh man, the sun is coming out. You know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe you, you I don't know. Again, I feel like a lot of these songs have got are going about 
things that RZA might have been go like either been going through or had gone through or just experiences in his life and that gangster life, you know. But again, that's just my interpretation because usually that's what rap songs are about. But musically, this whole album is like fantastic. It's just five stars all around. Um, but yeah, so can't hardly feel fantastic. Um, track number ten, one by one, one by one. Lights, oh what a life, with just a butter knife They could hijack your crew, destruct, interrupt your life Then raise the price of grass, has gas and rice I send a white square bitch with the sacrifice tonight So again, um, One by One is a, is a cool song, another favorite uh, And it's just, it's, it's just rapping about reality, man About the hardness and the hardships and overcoming everything and you know, just one by one, things coming at you, and one by one, just getting over them, you know. And um, again, I I love RZA's raps. Like it's just it's so solid. And I know that him and Paul Banks are doing the music. So the music for like you know throughout the album, it's just man, th this song in particular definitely is really low key. It's kind of like conceal, you know. It's very like it's a it's a cool like low 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 beated song. It's it's pretty dope. Um, yeah, I got. I don't really have much to say to it. His rap, Riz's raps in this are legit though. So you got, you would have to check it out. I'm not gonna just say his raps. I've already humiliated myself enough as it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and you know, plus it's, it's day is nigh, you know, and I, I pff, I'm not gonna listen to this uh, for a while again because I, I totally hadn't. But it's still awesome to to come back to. Um, but uh, yeah, so track number eleven, gonna make it. I'm gonna make it someday. I know I'll make it someday. Yo, dangerous weapons, but see that your own discretion. There's no time for panic buttons or emergency exit person. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what it's about. And it's got little John F. Kennedy speeches in there. It's pretty sick. Um, but yeah, it's I'm gonna make it someday. And, and just, you know, it's pretty much about making it, you know, I mean... It's very straightforward. <laughs> Pretty sick, though. Very sick. Uh, I was very, you know, again, this whole album from start to finish, fantastic. Uh, there's nothing really I can point out in it that's that's necessary. But again, they have little John F. Kennedy speeches in there. So if you're a fan of JFK, hey, this song, this song's what's up. Um, but all right, so the final track, track number 12, Point of View. Uh, Point of View featuring my boy, the man of the hour, Method Man. And featuring Master Killer. Uh, you know what party like a rock star. And you can catch me eating guppy at the shop bar. I'll see you. Man, this is a fantastic closer. It's just, it is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Again. This whole album is just insane, my 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 nigga. This album is insane. It's just so fun, you know. Um, but <laughs> I love Method Man's rap. Eight million stories in the backseat of a cop car, but I don't need to go to jail. I already got bar. Cut the coke with the baking soda. I rock hard for no change or debit. We call them flash cards. While we flashing money out here, call it a flash mob. <laughs> Fucking method, man, man. That nigga's real, okay? Come on now. You want to talk about some black privilege? Method and Red was a bitchin' show. You know, and a lot of y'all niggas forgot about that. But Method and Red, that show was lit. And it was a thing. It was indeed a thing. Um, and I love the little breakdown. They're all like singing high pitch. I want everything this world can give. A nice car to drive. A nice home to live. Money in my pocket. <laughs> love in my bed. It's my daily bread. <laughs> like, it's just like, fuck. <laughs> and then the beat, like, the, and then the key, the keys and everything. Like, it's just... It's such a fucking solid song, yo. Like, man, I can't. I, I just this this album is awesome. You know, I hadn't heard it in a while, and then I had I had came across an article uh, just going through music on, on on one of my feeds for for just you know music news and shit, and I had saw that they were coming out with something and that they've been working together, you know, and 
freaking uh, Interpol's working on some new music too. So I was like, shit, you know, I should listen to this again. And so, you know, I figured, oh shit, I figured I would, uh, you know, this would be the per one of the perfect albums to review in this time because, you know, I I couldn't, I can't think of a better example of to how people really do act in the world. You know, a lot of people collaborate and make amazing art like this and we would never we will never get it if we're just at each other's throats all the time you know it's 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 crazy it's crazy um but yeah you know point of view that's exactly what this this song and this album is it's a specific point of view of just creativity and acceptance and love and you know pain heartache triumph you know it's it's a fantastic record. It's a fantastic debut. It's a fantastic first record. You know, it's I, I hope that they I hope they do a do a successful sophomore. Even if it's not that great, we still have the first. You know, um, but yeah, that's all I really got to say. You know, I don't really listen to hip hop that much, so that was the main reason I wanted to do this album was because I don't do hip hop. I don't listen to hip hop that often, but this is something that needs to be shared and needs to be shown. And I hope you guys check it out and I hope you fall in love with it because from start to finish, this album is fucking awesome. It's fucking awesome. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, this has been the Craig A. Lawrence Experience. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, you know, anything but words, Banks and Steels, check them out. You know, my nigga Rizza, my home, the homie Paul Banks. You guys are awesome uh, in your own respective ways, your own bands, awesome, coming together. Who'd have thought? Uh, but anyway... Um, thank you for watching. I'm just flustering myself at this point. It's, uh, you know, I'm just, yeah, this, this album is just great. Um, I, I thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. Hopefully you're, uh, you enjoy the, the content I've been doing. I hope you, you enjoyed, uh, my nigga Rick, you know, he'll be, uh, doing some more, uh, videos coming up soon. You know, hopefully whatever sci-fi flicks the Hollywood decides to throw at us, you know, we'll be able to, we'll be there to make fun of them. Um, or, or if they're really good to praise them and, and their, gloriousness that is the sci-fi um and then i definitely got some more record reviews coming for you in the future hopefully some stuff either you've heard or you haven't so you can you know have some new tunes to fill up your ear your ear holes um and uh yeah it's been the craig lawrence experience y'all you have a fantastic weekend